friends, today I have a package from Kika Goods. These were sent to me for the purposes of review and I'm so excited because I have been obsessed with Chinese art doll BJDs and I'll show you what I mean because we're actually going to be recapping a bunch of the older ones that they've sent me and that I have purchased because today not only did Kika Goods send us new BJDs that we haven't looked at yet. These are the Yoon Lai dolls by Lucky. And this is actually a company, Lucky, that I've never had a doll from, so I'm really excited. So we got both of the Yoon Lai dolls. We have some of the official Yoon Lai accessories. So these are flocked wigs. I believe the ones that they come with are not flocked. And then we also get a bunch of clothing. So this is a new thing that Kika Goods has started selling and they sent these to me to share them with you guys because I already have most of the other dolls that they sell because these clothes actually fit the other dolls too and these are absolutely gorgeous. I haven't gotten to take a look at these at all yet and I had no idea what they were sending me so oh my goodness. And if you guys are interested in making an order from Kika Goods after this video, um, you can check the description for more information. I don't make money off of sales on their website, but it does help them decide if they want to continue sending products for review. These are all so cool. I'm so excited to see what they're like. So before we get started and before I go get the other dolls, let's take a look at these dolls. So these are the Yoon Lai. I believe they're called Yoon Lai Food Shop. Um, and they're really, really cute. The artwork is absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure what the two characters' names are off the top of my head just really excited to check them out and I'm also really curious about the clothing it looks really really cool so that's what the packaging looks like and let's get started so there's a tear strip so these ones aren't actually blind packaged you know what you're gonna get oh my goodness the tear strip is not working for me hopefully that's just a fluke with this one and the other one works okay so let's see what this doll is all about oh my goodness okay so these dolls oh my gosh they have body blushing <gasps> Yay! Body blushing is like my favorite thing that dolls sometimes do, but they almost never do it. <gasps> this is so exciting. So they seem to have a completely different body than my other dolls. And then we have the clothing. So here. Oh, wow. I'm really impressed with these. Oh my goodness. Okay. The materials are so different and really, really cool. Oh, this skirt is so precious. Okay, this is really high quality, nice material. Here's the little card telling us about our character. And she also comes with little shoes, which feel like they're painted. So perhaps these could scratch over time, but that might just be me um, feeling them wrong. But they kind of feel like they have a kind of chalky paint on them. It's interesting. And yeah, so that is our blue haired girl. And then Pika Goods also sent this wig, which seems to be just the exact same wig, but flocked. So this is like a bonus. And I'll be right back. I'm gonna double check the prices on these real quick because I don't want to say them wrong. Nudity warning, prudes, click away, click away quickly. Here are three different dolls at the scale that I have. I do not have the Teen Art Campus or the Bonnie dolls yet. These are the three that I have. These were all sent to me for the purposes of review by Kika Goods. And now I'm using these two, which were sent previously and already reviewed to compare to the Yoon Lai doll. These are all made, well, these two are made by Penny's Box. So this is Antu Nature's Wonderland. And this one is the School Haunting series. And then this one is the Lucky Yoon Lai Food Shop. And her name is Thong Wan, I believe. Um, and then also I have this one, which I did purchase myself also off of Kika Goods. And I will be trying the clothing on her, but you know, obviously her body is quite different. So anyways, because of the body blushing on this one, the I was thinking like, okay, these must be quite a bit more expensive, but no, they're the same price as these. So these right now on Kika Goods website are around $20. Uh, it seems like the retail cost or the original cost on there was around $30. I honestly can't believe that because of the body blushing and the fact that they're basically the same quality as the other ones. So they do actually have different bodies, but they're close enough where they can share clothing really, really easily. So um, as you can see, the Nature's Wonderland doll is the closest one, but they are a bit different. You can especially see that there's a line on the tummy on this one. And the hands are different on all of them, but they their hands can interchange, but the skin tones are different here, of course. And unfortunately, you cannot interchange the wigs. So I was really hoping you could because with the Yoon but these are made by different companies, so it makes sense. The Yoon Lai wigs, again, you can buy extras separate from the dolls. So if you only wanted the wig for one of these dolls, that would be really cool. But these are way too small, so you can see how much smaller her head is. And by the way, they only have half heads because the back of the wig is the... Um, back of the head but anyway as you can see way too small but you can if you want to 
use this larger wig on your food shop doll. Um, it will look silly, but oop, it could be passable. Also, uh, strangely, this one has a really loose head. I'm thinking maybe it's just this one. We'll see once we open the other one, but that's quite interesting. But check out this body blushing. It's like incredible. I have never seen like full body body blushing on something at this price point, and I'm completely shocked by it. Look at the little belly button. This is really, really, really cute. And I put the underwear on her because although she's not fully anatomically correct, I didn't want anyone to be uncomfortable. So um, I hope you understand, but um, it's basically the same idea as the others. I really love the blushing, like especially on like the collarbones, the shoulders. It's even on the hands, like look at that on the fingertips. It's really, really cool. I hope we get more of these um, art toy BJDs with the body blushing. I'll definitely be watching this Lucky Company to see if they release more dolls because this is really cool. The articulation is exactly the same on all of them. It's just, you know, certain ones are taller or a little bit wider than others. Really cool. Really, really pleased with this one. And I cannot believe the price point. I was completely shocked by that. All right. Later on in this video, we'll be seeing those other dolls again. But for now, let's open up this one. So <laughs> I forgot her name already, but they both start with Thong. So this is Thong Wan. I'm sorry, I'm most likely pronouncing them wrong. But um, don't remember this one. So I'll let you know when I move to the next clip. Okay. So here is our next one. So this one has this card. I really like that they come with the little collector cards. It's really cute. And then the clothing for this one. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. And they are food themed in some way. I think they work at a food shop or something. So um, she's like themed after some sort of fruit. I'm not sure. I am not sure. Really fantastic. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get the outfit on her. And then she does have the same body as the other one. And, oh, the face is so cute. So when the wig is on, oh, I see. The head isn't staying on this one because the back of the wig needs to be there to hold it steady. Okay, for the record, if yours has the head issue that mine had, you have to pull the S-hook all the way through because you can see the S-hook on this one. That's how it's supposed to be. So you have to pull it through this way and then twist it so it'll stay in place. Um, I just wanted to share that in case yours has that problem. She didn't have it directly out of the packaging, but she had it after I unboxed her and took her wig off, so that was totally my fault. But now, as you can see, her head is not shaking around. It'll hold the weight. Sorry about that. I'm not super familiar with BJDs, so I had no idea what was going on. Anyways, let me get back to putting on their clothing. Both dolls are dressed in their outfits. They're really cute, and they're pretty accurate to the artwork, which is really nice, except the shoes and socks are missing on this one. So instead of Mary Janes, they're just simple flats on this one. And... Um, on this one, we're missing the big bow in the front, which is a shame. So, okay, I figured out what they're supposed to be. So this one, um, her name is Tang Yen or Tang Wan. I couldn't really find like a consensus on how it was pronounced online, but I wish I could just ask somebody. But anyway, <laughs> if you know, please let me know. Uh, it's some kind of food related to rice balls. So on her little bio, it says rice balls, but then Tang Yen is like a specific type of food. Um, and you can see that it's also given her some flowers and stuff on her artwork. And then this is Tang Hulu, Tang, Tang Hulu, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, um, I had to look up what a ha was. I was like, is that a mistranslation? What is a, what is a ha, H-A-W? It's, it's the berry of a hawthorn plant. I knew what a hawthorn was, so the berry. Anyway, so I read a little bit of the story of these as well. So they are sisters who run some kind of food shop and there's like some lore about fairies or something. At first I thought they were the fairies, but then it specifically says one is the eldest sister and stuff like that. So anyway, okay. So let's get started reviewing them. I want to look at Tang Ulu first, the red one first. These are so stinking cute. I'm Oh my god, look at her. Okay, so first of all, I love the faces. The faces are just glorious. It's a shame that they have such like long sleeves and everything because you can't really see the body blushing. There is a cutout here so you can see the body blushing on her chest. She is so cute. I love the face. I'm a little sad that they have such long sleeves and long skirts too because you can't see the body blushing which is one of the coolest features of these dolls so I might actually switch them out of their clothing pretty quickly so that they can wear one of the other outfits. Maybe we'll see. I do super like these outfits though. So darling. I also really love the face style on these. It's really cute. Not I mean I still think this is my favorite face style on the Chinese BJDs that we've looked over so far but these are pretty close. I'm really enjoying these. 
aren't they so cute and then her hair overall fairly simple i really like the matte paint it has little sticks hanging out which is probably the um like haw plant which or like the way that they serve the haw i don't know i'm sorry i don't know anything about that fruit or berry or whatever it is um but i really like that it's styled as her hair it's really cute is it spicy by the way i figured they were supposed to be sweet and spicy but i'm just not sure i've never encountered that food and you can see that those haw berries or just haws i don't know are littered all over her dress it's really cute it said in her bio that it was a chong sum which i'm not 100 percent sure how to pronounce that one either i've read it a lot of times um but anyway, super precious. I love the sleeves. I've never seen one in this style with these sleeves and these white ruffles. It's beautiful. And there's actually little bows and little slits here. So, so cute. And then the back is full Velcro. These are super easy to put, th put on them. I didn't even need to take off the hands. And that is a huge relief because with some of the other dolls, especially these school haunting ones, you actually have to pull this over, not their head, you take their head off, but you have to pull this over their shoulders and pull their hands through. There's no Velcro or fastener or anything. You actually have to just fully put it on like you would put on your own clothing. And that's kind of difficult on a doll scale. So I really appreciate that these are easy to put on while still looking okay. Like, that's not too distracting to me. And then uh, the shoes, I don't like. The color really... I don't mind the color of the hair or these bows, but I feel like the shoes are just too much uh, with the dress. Because the dress almost has this, like, brown, like, root beer type color. Which is at first what I thought she was supposed to be, actually. I thought they were, like, bubbles or something on her dress. Um, but then I saw the little holes and I was like, okay, no, it's a fruit. She's so cute. I really love the little chest peep too because you can see the really, really cute body blushing there. But again, like you can't really see all that body blushing that they have, which is super cute. Also, the posability is just awesome on these. I'm finding, and this could be a like individual doll thing because I've noticed some of my like school haunting dolls or my centaurs and stuff, some of them have tighter joints than others. So basically these are strung with elastic, you know, so you can tighten or loosen the joints depending on what you prefer. These pose really nicely. Like I don't have them randomly kicking back at me like some of my other ones do. So ah oh yeah the the hair is ridiculously heavy. So they can stand on their own, but the hair is very, very heavy. Um so that's something to look out for. Also, they do come with only one pair of hands. They're little fists that are fully blush, which is so cute. You can buy hand packs. I don't have any to show to you guys, but they're actually pretty well priced and um these two characters have the exact same skin tone, so you can use the hands on both of them, which I'm sure is nice. Although I do hope they do different skin tones in this food shop line because I imagine they can do other like food shops. I don't know. We'll see. I hope that they do because I really like these. And then this one, her hair, I think I prefer this one overall. I think she's just really cute. Oh my gosh, the little painted teeth. I just noticed that. They have little painted teeth in their little mouths and they have blushing on their face. Absolutely adorable eye style. Um, I know this is supposed to be the eyelid, so it makes sense that it's the same color on both of them, but I wish that it wasn't such like a warm red color on this one. Uh, for some reason, her wig. Yeah, these ones, I find that the, the back of the hair likes to come off pretty easily too, which is kind of not the best. So especially on this one where it's so heavy, it's kind of difficult to deal with. Her outfit is absolutely precious. It said that it was some kind of period piece on the um, like little manifest about the characters. It's really cute. I wish that it had that big bow in the front like it shows here. But other than that, it's so cute. I love it. So it's actually two different pieces I'll show you. So you get that piece and then this is a skirt that you put over it. And this piece actually fastens with Velcro right up front has the little crossbody. It's really cute. And I love the fabrics that they used. This is such a nice quality, interesting fabric that you don't really see on dolls very often. It's really cute. The sleeves are awesome. The trims just, this one is so cool. I really love this outfit. I mean, they're both really highly detailed, gorgeous outfits, but this one just blows me away. And normally I'll gravitate towards uh, red. I find like designs that have red in them, but this one, it's so, so cute. And then her little shoes, which, again, they match the hair and not the outfit, so I don't like these with the outfit, but she has a really long skirt, so you can't actually see them, so yay, that's a win. Okay, now let's unbox these, I, don't, I almost don't want to unbox them because they look so cute in here. Let's unbox the little wigs, so they're attached with a blister here. Yeah, they just come right out. Okay, wow, they're really soft. So they're flocked is basically the thing here, so this is just if you want flocked ones, I guess. And I will say that I do prefer the flocked hair on a lot of, the, dang it, I did it again, um, on most of these. It's just fun. It's just such a, like a different 
experience to hold the dolls in your hands and I think it's so fun. Anyway, so one of the main reasons I think it's so difficult to put the wigs on these dolls is actually, I need to stop calling them wigs, they're just the hair. Um, plastic wig, I don't even know, is because of the, the collars, see? So I kind of have to like stretch the head out a little bit, which I'm always scared to do, but it seems like it's, it's like kind of made to do that. So anyway, you stick it in there and we're all set. Then you put the front piece on and now we're going to have a flocked wig. Oh, that looks so much better, but it makes the shoes look weird. Oh no. Yeah, because now the shoes don't match anything at all. So the color is noticeably different, which I'd much prefer this deeper color. I think it looks a lot better. Oh, this is so cute. So everything on the wig is flocked except the little sticks. I love the little sticks. It's such a cute part of the design. And then let me set her aside and let's unbox this one. So these wigs are also, I mean, these are pretty expensive, I guess, compared to what you pay for the dolls. These are around $10 each. Just depends. It seems like they were 12 ish and now they're $10 each. Um, which honestly doesn't seem too bad because they're they're so cute. They're flocked. So fun. Uh, but if you compare it to like, I could get a whole doll with the clothing and a body for $20, then yeah, like they're a bit expensive. But that's just how it is when you price out things individually like that. If you try to sell stuff individually, you kind of have to charge more. Oh my gosh. Okay. They're definitely keeping the flocked wigs on. These are so cute. I kind of just wish that they had made the dolls cost a little. I mean, this isn't on Kika Goods. This is just on the company that makes them, just so you know. Kika Goods is just distributing them. Um, I kind of wish that they had made either an option where you could pay like $5 extra and have the dolls just come with these wigs. Because now I just have identical wigs that won't fit. <laughs> See, they stand really well until they don't. Um, anyway, I... Now I just have these extra wigs that aren't going to fit anybody else unless I buy more Yunlai ones, which I would be happy to, but it's the same wig, except less interesting, you know? So, very interesting. It's a cute idea, though. I really like it. It's a fun option. I just wish maybe, like, you know, they could have made, like, a deluxe version of each doll that came with the flocked wig so that you don't end up with two pairs or two of the same wigs. That's just my idea. I don't know. I don't 100% know how the market for these works, like, in China where they're actually sold, they're just so cute. I get to see photos sometimes when I'm shopping on Chinese websites of like the stores that they sell these at and they're just so cute. Okay, so now that is it for the review of these two. I'm thoroughly impressed with them. I think the clothing quality of these blows all the other ones that I've reviewed out of the water. Really fantastic. The construction of the outfits is much more elaborate and interesting. I think the style of the clothing is a lot more interesting other than I think the like uniform style of these ones is really cute but they are uniform so they're all pretty similar although they did switch them up quite a bit on the school hunting series the nature wonderland dolls all come with this exact same dress it's cute and it's well made but it's not as fun they, they come with some variation of this i should say and then these the outfits really bore me i do not like the outfits very much on the nature wonderland dolls or sorry these are uh, dreamlike tea party dolls and again i bought this one with my own money <laughs> i just i just want to make that clear okay now Let's take a look at the extra outfits that we got. Very, very impressed with these. The body blushing sets them over the edge. Sorry, I keep saying let's go on to the clothes, but I need to wrap up this part and then we'll move on to the clothes. Anyway, clothing quality is better than basically all of these. I would say the school haunting might be better quality. Just depends on what you're looking at. Because, I mean, there's even like metal little chains and metal snaps and stuff on the school haunting ones, which is pretty nice. Although only the skirts have the snaps and that's only because of the little tails. Um, I do prefer the theming of, you know, literal centaurs and like bunny girls and stuff, but <laughs> so I prefer the theming on the other ones. So that's a point off for these. So we've got clothes, body blushing, 10 out of 10. Oh my God. Also, I'm finding that I like the bodies on these better. They're just behaving nicer. They're standing up better. They're not kicking back at me a lot. And I mean, this is what I mean, by the way. This doll was standing earlier and the leg will just kick itself like that. See? So I barely touch it and it will kick. This is mostly only an issue for me with the Nature Wonderland dolls in particular. Most of the other ones don't have this problem. But anyway, I'll try to stand one of these dolls up and they'll kick at me. Or I'll try to sit them down and the legs will like pop upward. And that's just a quirk of having strong articulation. And I think it's because they're a little too tight, possibly. So if I loosened it, I think that would fix it. Not sure. But these aren't having that problem. But again, it could just be that I got lucky and I got good ones. Who knows? So... Yeah, these are the better buy to me. Um, other than the centaurs, the centaurs do beat them to me because they're literally centaurs. I'm <laughs> like, sorry, you can't really beat that um, unless you make a centaur or something else. Imagine fairy ones of these with like actual, not just little plastic wings, like really detailed, elaborate, like three-dimensional wings that actually are articulated. 
then that would probably be the centaur. Or mermaids with articulated tails, please. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, these are definitely the better buy if you don't like centaurs. <laughs> um, but these are awesome. Really, really enjoy these. I really hope to see more from this lucky company because I'm extremely impressed. Love these. All right, let's set them aside. We will be seeing them again, though, because we're going to be trying these outfits on my different dolls, depending on who I think they'll look good on. So these are the extra outfits that Kika Goods sells. It looks like they're priced from anywhere from like three to five dollars each or like three to seven dollars, maybe, which is really, really nice. And these are awesome because it's really hard to find clothing in this scale and these fit basically any of the dolls that i showed you today and i will try them on um anyway so this dress is really cute this material is not the best and it's interacting poorly with the velcro but it looks really nice i love the little puff balls and the top of this is precious with the little buttons and then this looks like maybe a hair piece or is it I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a hair piece. This is really cute. And then we have little black socks. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like any of these could come with shoes because all of these different dolls have different size feet. Okay, the next one looks to be the same as the other one, just in a different colorway this time. So we have the black socks again. Little loose thread there. We have this little headband with the puff balls on it. And then, okay, so this material here feels a lot nicer, and I think it matches a bit better than this one does. I'm not sure about the blush pink on this one. We'll have to see. Um, but anyway, there's the two outfits. This one's just closed. That's why it looks better. I didn't close this one right when I was done showing it to you. These seem like they might be slightly too large. We'll see when we try them on our dolls. It might just be because they're off, so it's hard to visualize the size of them. All right, moving on. This is where we get to the good stuff. So I will link all of these in the description if I find them on the Kiki Goods website. For you guys, this one is so pretty. Oh my god. Okay. I knew there was clothing in this box because they told me, and I opened the box to confirm it was in here before I did this review, but I didn't look at any of the clothing at all. The only one I spoiled for myself was this one, which I'm very curious about because I saw the little sprout eyes. But wow. Okay, so we have a little hat. It does have an elastic on it to help keep it on their head, but you could cut that off and do something else. Oh my god, look. This is an actual metal charm. This is so nice, by the way. It has this really nice, like, suede -ish material. And then look at the dress. <gasps> okay, so it has a little card. It's a little ace of spades. And it's like an enamel thing. So there's enamel in here and then the metal frame for it. This is beautiful. Look at the trims and the construction. Wow. I love this. I will say be careful with black outfits because um, often this sort of outfit will stain your doll. But um, I'm very impressed with this one. I am worried about staining them. And then we have these. And that's... Um, you can prevent that. There's ways to deal with it. You can um, wash it and make sure that the color doesn't bleed and stuff like that. So exercise caution with that one. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cute. So this is like very angelic. We've got the white and gold. I really want to put this on one of the centaurs maybe. We'll see. Okay. Wow. We Okay. So whoop, just bumped my dolls. We have... Oh my god. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I love that there's netting over the sleeves like that and the little stars. This is beautiful. Now, what is this? Is this a little bonnet? Ah! So this basically would go over the hair like this. Oh, this is gorgeous. <gasps> New favorite one. Sorry to the black dress. Wow, I love that one. Okay, now for this one. I just, I think that's a peach or something what is going on let's see <laughs> i don't know what's going on with this one okay so this is a hat that has the little eyes and the sprout on it that was not what i was expecting and then we have oh this is cute okay this oh i love this little gingham yellow dress with green collar and green little ruffly sleeves this one needs an ironing for sure really cute and then we have some green polka dot shorts and oh a little Mickey Mouse shaped thingy on the bag and the bag does not open but interesting okay so this is an unusual outfit but maybe we'll love it when it's on the dolls we'll see and then we have this one which has what I think is a bunny hat I'm worried about putting these hats on all the ones with the ears <laughs> okay so here we have the rain hat is what I think this is a little bunny hat oh this is so cute and then 
we have this little purse. So these were purchased by Kika Goods to distribute to us. And I think what's going on, are, are these made for Nuimos? That would explain the Mickey motifs, but I'm not 100% sure. But these are um, like made by smaller private companies, I think. This is really cute. I really like these two pieces in this little pocket here. And they come with the little yellow hat and the little yellow bag. And then, oh my God. These like Lolita-esque dresses are the ones for me. These are so cute. Yeah. Let's see this one. So we have, oh, we get two extra pieces with this one. So, hmm. Is this a little apron maybe? I think this is an apron. So you would put it here. Yeah, that's gotta be it. And this one has a little enamel club. So like a metal club shape with enamel poured really cool this is cute and then we have this little uh, oh no this is the apron right this is an apron are they both little apron pieces Ooh, i am not sure well i was thinking this was like a headpiece i'm not sure we'll see and then the last piece i think this is my favorite so i saved it it's green oh this one's really elaborate too okay oh my god yep this is the best one. Oh, how cute are you? Man, it's not gonna match with her. Like it's gonna completely clash with her kind of bluish. But wow, this is stunning. I need to figure out who's gonna wear this. I kind of want this on one of the centaurs. Wow. And then we have little bloomers. So cute. Really nice quality. I can't believe they have the little trim. And then what is this piece? This little, I don't know. Is it a headpiece? I think it's supposed to be like a little, let me demonstrate it on her, even though I don't think it matches. Like this, maybe? It would go as like a little bonnet type of thing? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to put all these outfits on my different dolls and figure it out. I'll be right back. Welcome back, my friends. I have dressed my dolls. So some of these outfit combos are terrible, like with the doll that I picked them on, but it's because I didn't really like Either the doll that would look best in that already looked better in something else, or I just did not have a doll that I thought would look good in that. So let's get those out of the way first. So these two outfits are quite cute, but as you can see, they're quite a bit too large for these dolls. And all of these dolls have about the same body size. I think you could get away with these on the centaurs, but I'm not the biggest fan of these ones just because they are way too big. Also, um, I tried to put the little puffballs on, but I ripped one off. They are hot glued on, so... I mean, it would make a cute headband without the puffballs, I will say. Um, but these aren't my favorite. They are really affordably priced, though, so that's something to keep in mind. All of the prices for these, by the way, will be in the... Well, I won't put the exact price because it seems like it might change over time, but I will put the listing so that you guys can check them out. These are most likely the ones that cost the least on the website. That's kind of what I observed, and um, it reflects in the quality. They are pretty nice. The design is very cute, but they don't really fit the dolls that well, and that's the biggest thing. Um, I don't mind if an outfit has, like, cheap quality or whatever, but it's just that they don't really fit the dolls is the main thing. Um, also, I did not put, like, the socks and stuff on all of them for differing reasons, depending on which one we're referring to. Okay, this next one is such a disaster. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought like, oh, she looks so sad. I'm going to put her in a cheerful outfit, but no. Um, this was the last outfit that I decided to try to put on somebody. And yeah, this was a disaster. And uh, the pants do fit though. This outfit is a bit big. At least it looked like it, but it actually fits the centaurs quite well uh, because of the way the skirt kind of can go over the back of their body. But um, yeah, this I think could be cute. Just I did not find somebody who would look cute on. So we're just going to take that off camera. Okay, the others are okay well okay so i'm not really the biggest fan of how this combo turned out so this dress is so cute i probably should have tried it on somebody else but i wanted to try one of these outfits on a school haunting doll and i noticed that i hadn't done it so this is what um <laughs> weirdo xiao yo looks like in this dress it is a really cute dress but i don't think it matches her super well it's really really cute though and again just be careful make sure you pre-wash and pre-treat these so that they don't stain your dolls because i imagine that this would stain her if i leave it on her um also the socks one of them glided on really easily but now there's a hole in it and the other one was super difficult to put on but i did manage to put it on so that's something to keep in mind could not keep her shoes on with these because her shoes are way too big for her because she's supposed to have really poofy socks um i hope at some point they sell extra shoes for these too if they can Okay, next is this outfit. I wanted to put this particular outfit on the centaur because it is 
a shirt and pants and I was like how would a centaur do that like how would that work and this is what I came up with I did cut a hole for the tail uh, but I think this is really cute isn't this like so cute I really like this one I feel like this doll actually would have looked really nice in this outfit but I already had her in this one and I committed to this one I even cut a hole in the pants so that's what she's getting I love the little top on her she also comes with the little purse and she does come with the bunny hat and it does fit her pigtails kind of make it goofy but also like she's a centaur I don't know. I wasn't the biggest fan of the hat on her, but it actually fits super well on, say, like the Antu dolls. Let me show you on this one. She's like, do not put that on me. Um, but see, so it fits super, or sorry, they're all Antu dolls. The, or, the centaurs and these are Antu dolls. Anyway, the Nature's Wonderland dolls, these fit on quite well. Super adorable. Cutting the little hole in the shorts for the centaurs makes them work really well. I could have done that for this girl too. I just chose not to because I was like, I hate this on her, so I'm not going to commit to it like that. Um, and the bag is really nice. The fact that it actually opens is really cool. Um, it's super, super cute. These dolls don't have super divine, defined shoulders, and since all the outfits are a bit oversized, it's hard to keep the bags on them. Um, but yeah, really cute, really nice fit. It is quite difficult to get the shorts on the centaurs, by the way, because, you know, they are they're made for human legs and these are horse legs but you can do it I didn't have to alter them at all to get them actually onto the doll all right next this was so cute this is actually the first one I did look at her so she's wearing the little maid outfit so the apron was the lacy one I looked at the website to see <laughs> and then this was the little headpiece how cute is this so um, these are her shoes by the way they just don't stay on in general do I have two of the same shoe here and I didn't notice I totally do look that's annoying. <laughs> anyway, um, isn't she darling? I, this pink color really complements her well. This is really cute. I actually kind of want to leave her in this dress. I might leave some of these in these dresses, honestly, because they're better than what they came with. I mean, all of these outfits, almost, almost all of them, almost all of them are better than the outfits that they actually come with, which is really fun. Um, just depends on if you like the look of them better, which not, I don't, for all of them. Okay, this was really cute. I don't think gold is the best color to match with her, but isn't this so cute? She looks like a little angel. I think this uh, dress would definitely look better on somebody else. So I didn't fully close it in the back, by the way. If you do, it looks kind of goofy, but how cute does she look in this? Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, I think like she has too much of a cool tone in her hair to match with the gold here, but I just really wanted to try an outfit on her. And this was the one that I felt like would work the best. I guess this one would have worked quite well on her too. I don't know. This gold outfit is pretty precious precious i love it um again i probably will take it off of her but it's a really nice outfit like this piece is so nice and like even has little charms oh they're metal they're cold to the touch so fantastic little charm here too this dress oh my god amazing amazing some of these dresses were a bit more expensive than i anticipated by the way they're like around 12 dollars. just say so you no know. All right, and the last one. Oh my god, this one's so cute. So this is that green outfit that I fell in love with. Check her out in this dress. So this one I had to pull over her head because it does have Velcro, but not all the way down. So if you altered this by like cutting the seam here, it would be perfect for the centaurs. Also, I ripped this and the ribbon is now stuck inside. So this is supposed to be a lot tighter, by the way. I just messed it up. I ripped it trying to put it on her. I'm sorry. Um, I was pushing way too hard by the or pulling way too hard. It was not the quality of the thing that made it rip. Uh, but yeah, so this is astoundingly gorgeous. Um, it looks really cute on her with her pink color scheme and the bonnet thing, whatever it's supposed to be, is so cute. She's so cute. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I, I ripped this too. I was really trying to stretch it because look, so maybe this was just mine, but the thing was on this side. So you had to put it on like this, right? And that means that the bow was in the back. So what I was trying to do was take it this way and then pull this over and I totally ripped it. So that was my fault. But anyway, the hat is really nice. And it makes the outfit look better on her too, if you put the hat on. Anyway, green outfit is the best. Okay, well, these two are the best ones in my opinion. They are gorgeous. Get out of here. Those two outfits are darling. <laughs> they look so cute in these little outfits. I love them so much. And yeah, I think the centaurs are the standouts here. I think all of the centaurs, other than the fourth one that I did, look amazing in these outfits. Like, the centaurs are really more versatile than you would think they are because you'd think like, oh, they're centaurs. Like, how much versatility am I going to get out of outfits with them? But genuinely, I got a lot of versatility out of them and I had a lot of fun with it. And these outfits are so much fun. I imagine if you have other series of dolls at this scale, like the Teen Our Campus ones or Ten Our Campus and the Bonnie dolls and there's going to be more releasing over time, I'm sure. 
uh, you'll get to have a lot more fun with these outfits. Or you can, like, if you have, like, one or two, you can pick out outfits that are, like, very specific for those dolls. I think they also sell mystery boxes of these clothes, so if you can't decide, they also have that option. These are super cool, and thank you so much, not only to, for sending me the Yoon Lai dolls, that was really, really cool, and I was really excited about them when they came out, so I'm really grateful that they decided to send them to me. Uh, but also for sending all of these different outfits for me to play around with and to share with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and you'll definitely be seeing these outfits around. I think I'll try them on other types of dolls, too. They definitely will fit on Pico Nemo dolls, Nendoroid dolls, all sorts of different stuff. They're really cute. It's just certain ones, especially these, seem to be for like a totally different scale of doll than the others, you know? So I don't, I no longer think any of them are for Nui Modus though, I will say. Um, also these all will fit, or most of these would fit on Kelly dolls, and I know that because I tried these dolls on, or these dolls' outfits on Kelly dolls and they fit perfectly. So like these, they fit really well, so... Most of these outfits should fit decently well in Kelly dolls and other dolls of that scale. Or Chelsea dolls, sorry. Um, they used to be called Kelly dolls. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'd love to know which outfit is your favorite or maybe like which doll you would put these outfits on other than what I've done. And who among the new ones are your favorites? Do you like Tang Yen? I think I was saying Tang Wan, but I think it's Tang Yen or um, Tang Ulu. I'd love to know. Okay, for real this time, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And again, Kika Good sent me all of these clothes and these two dolls for free for a review. I don't benefit from you guys clicking the link directly, like they don't send me money or anything, but it will influence their decision to send me future products to review for you guys. Um, but the centaurs, these ones, I did by myself, um, but otherwise everything else was sent to me. Okay, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!